You're never gonna make it, you're not good enough There's a million other people with the same stuff You really think you're different, man, you must be kidding Think you're gonna hit it, but you just don't get it It's impossible, it's not probable, you're responsible Too many obstacles, you gotta stop it, yo You gotta take it slow, you can't be a pro Don't waste your time no more Who the fuck are you to tell me what to do? I don't give a damn if you say you disapprove I'm gonna make my move, I'm gonna make it soon And I'll do it cause it's what I wanna fucking do Cause all these opinions and all these positions They come in in millions, they block in your vision But no, you can't listen, that shit is all fiction Cause you hold the power you're as long as you're trying to make it there's no way that you make it And maybe you can fake it But you're never gonna make it Aren't you just gonna take that? Make them take it all back Alright everybody, welcome to Smackdown Live Hope you all are having a great day so far We have another action-packed episode We are gonna hear from the new WWE Champion Apollo Crews here to open the show Another sold out crowd. We are here in Louisville, Kentucky. Let's get Smack Alive underway now. Champion Apollo Crews jogging his way down to the ring. He is very excited and for good reason. This young man, his first title in the WWE is SmackDown's most prestigious title in the WWE Championship. Let's see what Crews has to say. Everybody knows I did an unthinkable and a very much impossible task by beating Braun Strowman at SummerSlam. But you know what? I knew I was able to do it, and I know most of you believed in me as well. And the belief in me is what keeps me motivated. And now as WWE Champion, I'm going to show my strength even more and be even more motivated to be the best WWE Champion I can be. The claws are about to come out and all of my fans are going to see the best out of the best WWE Champion. I, might not, I know that might sound cocky to some, but you know what, this motivation that I have pumping through my veins right now is going to bring me to great heights. I'll take on whoever wants a match. You know what, I actually might want a match tonight, so if The Undertaker wants to find me an opponent so be it. I'm ready. I'm ready to fight. I'm ready to show what I'm capable of. And for you fans, and for everybody watching here today, up the era of Apollo Crews has officially begun. And I won't stand here any longer and take up more of your time. I know we have a great show for you guys tonight. So if I can get a match later on, that would be great. So in that case, I'll see you guys a little bit later on in the show. Alright, so big words from the WWE Champion, and let's get on with the rest of the show. This is the first matchup of this episode. Sami Zayn has demanded a match with Sheamus after revealing to us recently that he knows Sheamus is the one who attacked him all the way back at Backlash. And keeping Sammy out of action pretty much up until the week before SummerSlam. So a good chunk of the year Sami Zayn has missed because of the Celtic Warrior. And before Sammy could explain even further, Sheamus stormed right down to the ring and just knocked Sami Zayn out with a big right hand. So it's even more reason for Sammy to want this match and this is also Sammy's return matchup on SmackDown Live. So we're going to see if Sheamus actually accepts this challenge or not. This crowd looking forward to this matchup and on their way to the ring right now are the bar, Sheamus and Cesaro. And Sheamus, we don't completely know why he did it, but it, certain uh, clues and stuff just kind of hint towards the fact that Sheamus after his move over to SmackDown Live at the beginning of the year that he didn't want Sami Zayn in the picture. He, the story was just like friendship between Cesaro and Sheamus. Sheamus was just kind of not wanting Sami in the picture, which in a way maybe could be understandable, but the way he went about it was not necessarily the best, if you ask me. But it's like Sheamus has accepted 
that challenge laid out by Sami Zayn. That'll be a very interesting matchup. Again, for those who may have missed it a couple weeks ago, or the week before SummerSlam, rather, Sheamus was answering the open challenge of UK champ Pete Dunne. They were having a pretty great matchup as just as the Bruiserweight was taking over the matchup towards the end. Sheamus was just trying to bail. Sami Zayn came out of the blue, tossed the Celtic Warrior back in and indirectly helped Pete Dunne retain the United Kingdom Championship. So Sheamus also not too pleased about having lost his opportunity at the United Kingdom Championship. So these guys definitely do not like each other. Sami Zayn ready to go and okay, I guess it's going to be Cesaro instead. Sheamus, I guess, still trying to avoid Sami Zayn as Zayn kicks off this matchup with a pop-up drop kick to take down his former friend Cesaro. And look at the strength of the Swiss. Superman just drops Sami Zayn on the knee. I think Sami was more or less just expecting Sheamus for this match, so he's got to readjust on the fly as he takes on former WWE champion Cesaro. Now Sami Zayn in some trouble. Gets out of a power bomb situation there. Pop up drop kick again. If you guys have been around the channel long enough, you guys remember that during most of last year, 2K18, Sami Zayn and Cesaro were friends and allies. They had several common enemies in the Wyatt family and the, at the time the Balor Club. All three groups pretty much feuding with each other. Now Sammy takes control of this matchup, tossed Cesaro into the ring post. Cesaro still trying to recover. Swiss Superman gets back into the ring. Now it looks like with Sheamus into the picture now, Cesaro has chosen Sheamus over Sami Zayn and Zayn also not too happy with that for obvious reasons. But to focus more on this matchup, two great athletes and a Uranagi slam there by Zayn as Sheamus looks on. Cesaro tosses him into the corner and another Uranagi slam, Sami Zayn. A lot more serious and more aggressive than he usually is, for good reason, of course. Sami Zayn still a fan favorite here on SmackDown Live. Look at the athleticism arm drag takedown of Cesaro. Sami caught him off guard there for the moment. Can he capitalize for him? Smash in the corner. And a baseball slide drop kick right to the side of the head. Picks up the Swiss Superman. Oh, kick to the midsection of Sammy. Cesaro getting some height there with the drop kick. Sammy slow to his feet, rolls out of the way. Big stiff hand right to the face of Cesaro. Big right hands again. Sammy Irish whipped into the corner. And again. Avoiding another Cesaro splash. Dragon screw takedown. Sammy in some trouble. Sheamus cheering on Cesaro here. And, oh, nice move there by Zayn. Avoiding the backdrop suplex. Cesaro now the one in a bit of trouble. Going for the blue thunderbomb. Sammy for the win. And no, Sheamus. Distracting the referee. Sami Zayn had that matchup won. But Sheamus, of course, helping his buddy Cesaro out and a Haluva kick from Sami Zayn. Big win for Sami incoming. One, two. No, Cesaro is able to power out. Sheamus not distracting the referee that time. He knew Cesaro was going to get out of it somehow. And that distraction by the Celtic Warriors definitely adding more fuel to the fire under Sami Zayn as it gets tossed out of the ring by Cesaro. 
What a match at the start. Smackdown Live, and we still have our main event to go. And a big form by Zayn. Cesaro with an elbow to the knee. Tosses the Swiss Superman back in. Cesaro up to his feet. Sammy back into the ring. Big form to the face, followed by some kicks. Zayn in control. Oh, and a flying uppercut by Cesaro. Takes him down again. I want to pop up uppercut nearly taking Zane's head straight off. Cesaro looking down this matchup with the neutralizer. And Sammy with the reversal saw it coming in. You guys know each other very, very well. Sammy down to one knee. Rolling forearm. Cesaro trying to end Sammy Zane's night. Maybe even career after slamming his knee into the mat viciously. Tosses Cesaro into the steel steps. Cesaro was groggy. Referee's count continues. Corner leaping uppercut by the Swiss Superman again. And a headlock. Zane trying to get up to a vertical base. Just wrenching on the neck even more. Sammy gets to one knee. And some elbows to the midsection, breaks Cesaro's hold, takes him down looking for the Koji clutch, makes Cesaro tap. Cesaro nowhere to go, Sheamus on the other side of the ring, can't really do too much at the moment, Cesaro holding on, but no, Sammy breaks the hold, now goes into a cover, one, two, Three, no, and Cesaro gets the shoulder up. Referee's hand was mere inches away from hitting the mat for the three count. But Cesaro, resilient as usual and as to be expected. The crowd chanting for Sami Zayn. As he continues his offense, big right hand by Cesaro. Form to the face again. Knee to the midsection. Look at the strength of Cesaro and an uppercut. Drags Sammy away from the ropes, turns him over. Uh oh, looking for. No, thought he was going for the sharpshooter submission. One, two, and no, Sammy gets the left shoulder up in time. These two just putting on a clinic right now. Cesaro fired up. Still trying to put Zane away. Zane with the reversal. Big right hand to the back. Goes for a drop kick. Cesaro pushes him off. Sammy, full head of steam. Another blue thunder bomb. One, two, and Cesaro again. Somehow finding the will to kick out. Well, that stiff forearm by Zayn, I think, hit the referee a bit. And Cesaro took advantage. Perfect setup for the Huluva kick. No, Cesaro saw it coming. Another leaping forearm, or uppercut rather. Sammy in a predicament again. Smashing the knee into the mat. Looking for the neutralizer. Sheamus excited on the outside. No, Sammy, big reversal. Oh, gets the roll up, gets the roll up, Sammy. Catching Cesaro off guard, one, two, three, and Sammy is able to escape with a victory. Uh, one heck of a match that these two put on. A great matchup. Shame is definitely not gonna be too happy about that. Cesaro up to his feet. Sammy looking for a handshake again. These two were friends last year. Cesaro shaking the hand of Sami Zayn. I don't know how much the Celtic Warrior will like that, but we're going to move on to tonight's main event. Everyone, time for tonight's main event, and Daniel Bryan, one of probably the greatest superstars of all time, if you ask me, and definitely a future Hall of Famer, still doing a lot of great things 
here in universe mode and on Smack on Live, he will be in action as part of this main event. And if you guys remember, at the start of the show, Apollo Crews wanted a match, and The Undertaker found him an opponent for tonight's main event. It will be Apollo Crews taking on Daniel Bryan. It will be quite the interesting matchup. I don't believe last year at all that they had any um, one on one or any uh, head to head uh, not confrontation that's the word I'm looking for but they haven't been in the same ring at the same time at all so this will be even more of an interesting matchup and if Daniel Bryan is able to pick up a win I think it's safe to say that Bryan would definitely be in contention for the WWE Championship in the near future the leader of the Yes Movement ready to have another match here on the blue brand as he will be taking on the new WWE Champion Apollo Crews again the title looks great around the waist of Crews we heard what he said earlier that now being WWE Champion is motivating him even more than he already was and that he wants to do the best that he can while being WWE Champion and facing off against one of the best in Daniel Bryan is definitely a good first task for Apollo Crews. It'll be a great matchup. Two great athletes, two completely different styles. So we're going to see how this clashes. And the crowd very much excited for this matchup. Two of their favorites in the ring at the same time. This is of course a non-title matchup. But still much anticipated. Daniel Bryan versus Apollo Crews. Let's get underway now. Bryan wasting no time and bigger hand from Crews. Stuns Bryan. Up against the ropes. Collar and elbow tie up. Referee's going to have to get in the middle of these two men there. And another collar and elbow tie up. Brian takes control here. Shoulder tackle to the arm. And Brian, the more technical of the two, and he's showing it here. Keeping the WWE Champion Apollo Crews at bay. Just wrenching the back of the arm clothesline from behind. Kick to the midsection. Cruz in trouble. Daniel Bryan fired up. Rolling forearm takes the champion down. Daniel Bryan, a former champion in his own right prior to the beginning of Universe Mode, and a drop kick in the corner. Daniel Bryan, patented corner drop kicks, takes the champ down into the cover early on in the matchup. One and no. Cruz kicks out quickly. Daniel Bryan stunned him with those drop kicks, but it's not enough to keep the WWE Champion down for too long. Big right hand and an uppercut. Cruz with some rights. Backdrop suplex, dropping Daniel Bryan on his neck, rolling out of the way. Oh, and a German suplex bridging into the cover by Daniel Bryan, and Cruz follows that up with a nice kip up, takes him down again. The athleticism and the speed on Apollo Crews is absolutely ridiculous. What this young man is capable of. Kick to the midsection. Big right hand to Brian. Cruz goes for a splash and he connects. Wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. What the heck, the Miz? I know he has issues with Daniel Bryan that just continue. Um, come up every once in a while but Cruz don't turn around don't turn around Miz with a skull crushing finale on the WWE Champion sending a message to both Cruz and especially Daniel Bryan both men are down and Miz just pretending to have not done anything Cruz in trouble trying to pull himself up think his original target was going to end up being Daniel Bryan for obvious reasons but Cruz was the one on his feet at that moment and Miz is fully aware that Cruz is WWE Champion so sending two message in one action definitely 
has just turned the tide of this matchup and a buckle bomb there by Cruz. Daniel Bryan in trouble. Owen picks him up. Going for the brain buster. Now Cruz showing off a little bit. Corner drop kick. Bryan still has yet to recover. Cruz rebounded quickly from the Miz. Distraction. One. And Bryan kicks out again. Again, I don't think the distraction was in exactly intended for Apollo Cruz, but still worked nonetheless. So the Miz picking his spot. He knows one to bother someone he does not like at all. Avoids the drop kick. And now Daniel Bryan going for the yes kicks to the chest of the WWE Champion. And a kick to the side of the head. Daniel Bryan looking to get the win. Rolling for him, but no. Paulo Cruz saw that coming. Over the head, belly to belly suplex. Again, the strength of Apollo Cruz is ridiculous. Now another headlock on Daniel Bryan. Has it cinched in. Bryan trying to fight out still. Bryan to a vertical base. Breaks the hold. Or at least tries to. There we go. Breaks it with a couple for, or elbows to the midsection. Brian with some kicks to the leg again. Rolling forearm. A smart move by Cruz to roll out of the ring. Dan Bryan up top. Goes for a missile drop kick and hits hard on the ground but hits his mark as Apollo Cruz bounces face and neck first into the announce table. Count of three by the ref. Daniel Bryan gets in and out of the ring to break, reset the count. Cruz slow to his feet and kicks the leg again. Here come the yes kicks one more time as the crowd chants along with Daniel Bryan. And another kick. A roundhouse kick right to the WWE Champion's head. One, two, and Paulo Cruz now he's able to kick out Brian. Thought he had him. I think we all thought he had Apollo Cruz there. Big forearm goes for another one. Cruz getting out of it. Daniel Bryan fighting out of the power bomb. A nice Hurricane Rana takedown by Daniel Bryan. Cruz clutching his side as he tries to get up to his feet. Now Daniel Bryan taking a moment to get the crowd behind him even more. Cruz not even budging at this point now. And again, going for the S kicks a third time. Cruz taking an absolute beating. I don't, again, I still don't even know how he was able to recover after the skull crushing finale interference by the Miz. But I think Miz may have just indirectly helped his adversary, Daniel Bryan. He goes for the knee plus, but no, Apollo Cruz baited him in. Now these two still going at it. Brian wrestles him down to the mat, going for the yes lock. Can he make the WWE Champion tap out? Cruz trying to inch his way to the bottom rope. But now he's able to get a hand on Brian and break the clutch, hits him with a right hand. Damage has been done though. Daniel Bryan slammed right down. Uh oh, going for another double clutch power bomb. And Cruz, what strength! And just takes Daniel Bryan down hard. Three consecutive double clutch power bombs. Clothesline, Paul Cruz with the comeback. 
And now a splash. Goes for a clothesline. Paulo avoids it. Nice kip up. And what a match standing moon salt. Cruz with the cover. One, two. And no, Daniel Bryan is able to kick out. Cruz yelling at the referee now. What a main event. No aggressive stomp to the arm of Daniel Bryan. Cruz looking to end this matchup. Picks him up. Gorilla Press. Standing Moonsault incoming once again into the cover on Daniel Bryan. One, two, three, and Apollo Cruz with a huge victory here to close out SmackDown Live. That I might put that on the list of match of the year candidates, to be completely honest. Two fan favorites having a great matchup. You have a Miz interference, which nonetheless fueled both men to put on an even better matchup than they already were putting on to begin with. But the WWE Champion Apollo Crews is victorious. A huge win for this young man once again to end SmackDown Live. If you guys enjoyed, be sure to leave a like, comment, share, subscribe, and all that fun stuff. And we'll see everybody tomorrow on NXT.